Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been so busy these past couple of months. I feel like this is the first weekend I've actually been able to sit down and film a video properly for you. Obviously, if you'd have seen my last video, then I have been doing my room up, which has taken like maybe about three weeks. And I also had a university deadline, but I'm so happy to be in my newly decorated room. Obviously, it doesn't look very different on this side, but I kind of like this angle of the videos now. This Zara stuff has been in my room since before my room was done. So I'm very excited because it's officially spring now. So I feel like the weather is slowly getting better. I'm trying to plan a few holidays. So I'm in a very, very good mood at the moment. Ooh, these are heavy. <laughs> Starting with some basics and I actually have two colours of this top already but I, when I went in and saw these other two colours I just picked them up because I've been wearing them non-stop. You can wear them to work in spring because they're like high neck and they're like shoulders so I feel like they're good for like work with a pair of work trousers. They're good for uni. I wear them with jeans. I wear them with leggings and a jacket. I just feel like they are the most easy staple tops to have in your wardrobe. I picked up the white one and it's literally just a basic white crop top but they are so soft and they're not see-through i mean i haven't tried the white one on but i can't imagine it being see-through they are so affordable they're like 7.99 they are just the top that i feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe i also thought this one was kind of nice i quite like this color actually and it's almost like a khaki dark gray kind of color i do already have the black and the beige one and as i said i use them all the time so for 7.99 you can't really go wrong i feel like if you're watching this video you will have 100 percent heard of the molly may jacket from zara which was like impossible to get your hands on i do own one and i'm proud to say that i own one you know i did follow the crowd i did go and get the zara molly may jacket but i use it all the time so i feel like it was a good purchase and even though everyone i think at this point owns one i still like it i still wear it all the time i wear it to uni like every week and i'm not ashamed of it when i went in store i came across the bomber version of it and i'm not gonna lie i kind of actually like this one a little bit more it's like a little bit more smart i would say I don't really own a bomber jacket so i just thought this was a really good one it's kind of like a pilot style and color they are kind of pricey they are 60 pounds for each jacket but they are a good like quality jacket and i do like them so i feel like if you wear them enough then it is kind of worth that investment it's kind of that relaxed kind of style this one's got more of like a stretchy elastic it's obviously not got the buckle instead it's got the kind of elastic around the bottom this i got in a medium but i did also pick it up in a large in my other one i've got a size small which is like an oversized fit anyway but i don't know i just thought these ones seem to come up a little bit less oversized than the other jacket i need to get it home and try it over a hoodie and see what it will look like so i did get the large as well they're still kind of warmish going into spring because i say it's spring but today it's actually freezing outside and yesterday it was pouring with rain so i feel like that's just typical english weather so you still have to wear jackets in like april we're actually in april today Happy 1st of April everyone. Happy April Fool's Day it is today. There's no like April Fool's. I'm terrible. I cannot lie to save my life. So happy April Fool's Day and happy 1st of April. I feel like this year is just flying past. I did try and buy things in outfits as well to try and help and create some like outfit inspo. So on the try on clips I'll put it into like outfits as well. I think it's actually a personality trait at this point that I buy things that are sparkly, have bows, have frills, like anything like that. I'm like put it in my basket. It is the most adorable skirt. I've not actually seen anyone talk about this yet. I got it in a size small and it is $35.99, which is I feel like Zara's prices have actually gone up, but $35.99 for a skirt is kind of pricey, especially if you're buying like a full-on outfit. You spent like hundred pounds on an outfit. So you can see it's got this drape effect here, which I really like. And then it's got this huge bow on the front, which is in a satin material, so it kind of contrasts. Zara skirts and trousers come up quite short on me usually because I'm around five foot eight for reference so i'm quite tall i'm a tall girl um so these can come up slightly short on me sometimes which is the only downside of zara for me i just think this if you were like a bride you were on like your hen do i just think this would make the perfect outfit the top that i got to match this again i am a big fan of and i feel like it actually will go really well it's just this satin white top so it's high at the front so it's got this like high neckline um but it is a little bit draped 
but then it's just completely plain at the front but at the back it's got a really low back to it and then it just does up with a bow so I just thought with the skirt obviously it's kind of like satin and satin and then at the back you've got the bow which matches the bow at the front and I just thought this would make the perfect outfit I mean it might not look as good on but you'll see in the crown clips but in my head I thought this would work really well and on holiday this would look so nice I feel like this is definitely a holiday top it pairs with like jeans and some white heels um, and I think it would make a like, perfect like brunch outfit I don't know I just think this is a really pretty top and I'm loving it um I sounded like a McDonald's ad there and I'm loving it. We've got this in a size small and it's £25.99. Pick up this bag as well to put with it. And I kind of had bridal in my mind when getting this. So this is the pearl bag, which I just thought was so cute. It's £32.99, but like it is heavy. This would take up all your weight in your suitcase. <laughs> I thought this would look really cute with a full white outfit. Got this kind of pearl strap to it. And then the whole of this is like little pearl flowers it almost looks like the inside does have like a dust bag so nothing's going to be falling through the pearls it does have like an inner line into it also as always i will leave all the links to everything in the description box as well if you want to check any of it out so i picked up this off the shoulder kind of corset top i did have to get this in a size medium i think size small was sold out but it's 35.99 it is kind of like the kind of classic corset top that i feel like a lot of people are wearing at the moment it's beige at the bottom it's got like pocket details and then it's got this white kind of flap over the front I feel like corset tops are my go-to I always wear corset tops if I never know what to wear corset top and a blazer <laughs> front is actually all buttons which I didn't realize obviously they're hidden but you do have to do all of the buttons up I'm not 100% sure if these are meant to match or not but they were the only trousers that I could see that might go they are slightly big like they're a lot bigger than I thought like wider at the bottom than I thought so I don't know if they're gonna be 100% my cup of tea but I got these kind of trousers. They're kind of like smart trousers, I guess. Um, that same material. They've got kind of a detail here. They have like a pleated fold over detail. I don't really know how to explain this, but it's got like a fold over here. And they were $49.99. So quite on the pricey side, but they are really good quality. These actually look really long. So what I was saying about Zara being too short for me, these actually look quite long. But they are huge. Like, they are super wide-legged, which I didn't realise. are also in a little bit of a need of an eye, and I think. I might pair this bag with it as well, because it's the only kind of nude bag that I picked up. But this was, again, at £32.99. And the detail on this is, like, crazy. It's so cute, and it's just, like... I just want to shake it because that is called the beads. This is the bag I picked up. So as you can see, it's got like so many beads on it. It's got these kind of nice dangly beads that I just think look really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the dress that Kim Kardashian wore um, in a bag. It is quite small. It's just got a little popper. Like, I don't know how much I'd fit in there. But you could definitely get like a lipstick, your purse in it. So it could do the job. Moving on to a dress, just to switch things up a little bit. I got this dress, which would be perfect for holiday. This is like a holiday. If you could describe holiday dress, this would be it. It's $29.99 and it is just a super stretchy, long maxi dress. It's really thick quality. Like it's really thick and it's kind of like a cottony material, I think. It's got like a split at the back and then it does have these slits at the front so you kind of see your skin through it again i think this is going to be a dress that probably makes more sense on really like plain and simple but sometimes i feel like the plain and simple outfits sometimes look a little bit more like elegant and just effortless on holiday like i probably would wear this with like my hair slicked back in like a pony or a low bun or like messy bun or something and i think this would look really nice and clean on holiday just to make it a little bit more bougie even though i said simple was the way to go forward I did also say that I love ruffles and frills, so I've seen it that these are making a comeback, which, I mean, I don't know if I want to hop on this trend or not, because I don't know if I just feel a bit stupid wearing these or not, but I've seen so many people wearing these lately, and it just looks really cool, so I picked up these from Zara, and they're like £12.99, and they're really cute and good quality so i feel like from zara these ones are actually a really good one got it in white to go with this outfit i don't know if it is gonna go or not but we shall see it's just a kind of neck accessory what do you even call this kind of reminds me of like spanish fiesta another kind of cord that i picked up which i am a big fan of actually as well is this kind of shirt material 
co-ord this is the shirt there i got it in a medium again it must have been sold out in a size small 29.99 for the shirt and it's in a beige kind of colour and it's got a black like dark navy thread running through it as like a stripe pattern. Just a super oversized relaxed fit shirt. It's cropped. Actually that's a really funky cuff. <laughs> I didn't even notice this but it's got like a double cuff to it. I didn't even realise that but that is a really unusual cuff. I've never seen that before. And then it goes with this little mini skirt. Now this I think is a low waisted mini skirt which is just not me at all. I never wear low waisted stuff so this could be a little bit out of my comfort zone but this is a little low waisted pleated skirt that just matches so i got this in a size small and it's 25.99 actually it is a score <laughs> i thought it was maybe going to be too short but it is actually a score so that's kind of good because if the wind blows up then you're fine it's a cargo jumpsuit and i don't remember the last time i wore a jumpsuit I think I, wore, I used to always wear them when I was maybe in like year seven. I always used to wear jumpsuits, but I never do now, probably because they're just so inconvenient like to get in and out of when you need to go to the toilet. I thought this one would make quite a nice casual but evening outfit. Oh, got an itchy nose. I thought this would make quite a casual but evening outfit. And again, I got it to pair with one of these. I have actually taken this one off to try. I got it kind of because of this. I wanted to get the black one, so I got a black outfit to match. But if you went to Rome or something in the evening in front of the Trevi Fountain or something, I just think this would be quite a nice outfit. Again, it's completely strapless. And then it just goes down into these really wide-legged again trousers. But it is kind of like a merge with cargo trousers as well. So it has got cargo pockets at the side and kind of cargo details about it. And you could also pair like a belt around it as well um which might like jazz it up a little bit i'm not usually kind of a pattern kind of person i'm very plain usually but i saw this girl wear this and i thought it was really nice and i do kind of want to get into wearing a little bit more pattern a little bit more color um and i just thought this would again look really nice on holiday and as i said i saw it on a girl on tiktok and it looked really nice on but in store i would never look at this which is why tiktok's always quite good to get inspiration but this was 25.99 it's just this kind of high neck dress and it's got almost like i don't even know what the print is of this it's like a swirly kind of print of greens and yellows and it's also got like a little bit more blue on the front as well at the front and at the sides it's got this ruche detail which is why i think on it looks better than maybe off it's got like an inner liner which is black which i find a bit weird but yeah it's got a black inner lining to it yeah i just thought this was really unusual but i kind of liked it so that's where i picked it up because it was something a little bit different um and again on holiday i think this would be perfect i got this bag which You've probably seen before but this i think is one of the cutest little bags it literally looks like designer i think my mum is not a fan of it but i think it looks like a designer bag it is i think it might actually be real leather i'm not 100 sure but it is pricey it is 60 pounds which for a bag of this size seems kind of crazy but it definitely is given bougie in mykonos designer bag and then it pops open and you get a longer strap in there as well so you can wear it like crossbody and then it does have again another lining on the inside i think this with a full white outfit would look really nice on holiday next up i got another pair of cargo trousers now i couldn't actually get the matching corset top because it is just impossible to get because it's always sold out but i did get my hands on the bottoms and i'll just pop them with a basic tee just so that you can get an idea but the corset top does look really nice these trousers are quite expensive but the quality of them is just insane and to be fair they are a really nice pair of cargo trousers they are 60 pounds again a little bit pricey i know but they are just kind of like this at the top they've got a belt buckle the inside is like this it's got zip details at the side and also on the pockets and it's got a lot of like stitch details on it and they are just super wide legged again i feel like wide leg like wide wide leg trousers must be coming back or something because everything i've got seems to be like really wide legged as i said i've seen so many people pair this with the corset top that matches and a pair of heels and it just looks a really nice outfit but again as i said you could wear these with just a basic tee or something like that pop a hoodie on even i just feel like you could wear these anyway really and then it picked up another white dress now i just thought this was a little bit more unusual maybe but it is this white dress but the top of it 
has a really unusual like cut out design to it first of all it is one sleeved this side it's got a twist on it and then it twists into like a cut out section if that makes sense and then it does just drape down into kind of this draped skirt design and it's like ruched and gathered and it was 35.99 which considering everything else in this haul sounds pretty affordable for a dress <laughs> and then the last thing is pretty funky and i feel like i couldn't not get this to try because again i've seen this and i was like i can't not not get this because i really want to try it basically a mermaid skirt i didn't realize but it is actually all holographic of different colors so it's like pink blue yellow purple all like shimmery and i did wear something similar to this last year to ibiza but it was trousers and it was all white um from boohoo but this year zara have released like this kind of range um, and I feel like everyone's going crazy for it, which again on holiday would look really nice. It is see-through, so you can wear it, I guess, over a bikini. I think I've seen people wear like bodysuits under it and things, so I think this will be kind of cool. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to try this on yet. I don't know what to put under it. It's basically like a fishnet kind of design. It's got elastic band at the waist. Obviously, in the sun, I just feel like this would be really effective. It was $49.99. Again, the weight of this, if you were to take all this on holiday with you, your luggage would be overweight, I think. <laughs> I think they did have matching tops as well to go with it. But yeah, that was the last thing that I picked up. And I just think this would look, again, perfect in holiday. And we have reached the end of the Zara haul. I think I spent, like, I don't even want to know, like, £700 or something. This is from Zara. If you did enjoy this Zara haul, then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Again, I'm going to be getting back into doing more videos. So I will definitely be doing more Zara hauls. We are day one into April. I might be going on holiday this month. I don't even know yet, it's not booked, but I might be. It could be a vlog coming your way as well. Yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Sunday for a brand new video. Bye.